Welcome to the Oregon Coast Railroad. This is my final update on Kenton, which is a switching area I added to the layout during COVID when I couldn't operate. My layout was a timetable train order up running from the Hoy Street Yard in Portland, west along the Columbia River to Astoria, and then south to Tillamook. The actual distance is 165 miles. Now I'm converting to a large switching layout inspired by Chuck Hitchcock's Argentine industrial area and Paul Dulcas's Baltimore Harbor District. The layout now runs from the Hoy Street Yard to the Lakes Yard just south of the Columbia River. The total distance is less than 10 miles. Most operators will work in a single area. Only yard transfers will move between locations. I'm making the change mostly by renaming locations. I can do that because my location is all representative of places and industries in Oregon, not actual replicas. The one place that has seen a major change is Kenton. The area was a hillside with a logging scene. Now it's a switching area with eight industries. We are looking down North Lombard Street. On the right, with the orange truck, is an armor branch house. The next industry is the Columbia River Salmon Cannery, which is a combination of buildings. As we come around the corner here, we will be looking back up the other side of North Lombard street over the top of the spick and span diner you can see the fred meyer bakery that's the last building i made fred meyer is a chain store in oregon similar to walmart opened just before world war ii with stores in oregon washington and idaho as we come around the corner here, you'll be able to see the opposite side of the building, the rail loading side. You also can see a large, so can see a large team track area that can hold four or five cars. The next building is Portland Wholesale Produce. It receives produce by rail and its customers would be local grocers and restaurants. Maryland Pacific Cone Company makes ice cream cones. This was an actual industry, but I don't know how it got its name. National Cold Storage is another food distribution building. It has its own one or two car siding. The last industry in Kenton is a Fred Kluge company, another real name, and Fred Kluge is another produce wholesaler with both an open warehouse and a cold storage building. I've been lucky that friends have helped me with the modeling. Paul Dolkus, Scratch built the Red Wing Shoe Store and the Spick and Span Diner. Based on a photo I found of these two buildings side by side in Mason City, Iowa, Paul also built the mobile station. Chuck Hitchcock turned a Walther's kit into the Maryland Pacific Cone Company. Brian Kelly built the jazz club from a Foss kit. Lance Menheim doesn't know he's a contributor, but he was because I got two great modeling ideas from his book, Model Railroad is Art. Lance says compressing streets and sidewalks doesn't work well, and I followed his advice. North Landbart Street has six foot wide sidewalks, nine foot parking lanes on each side, and travel lanes of 10 feet, a total of 50 feet, and I think it came out well. Lance is also the advocate of, is an advocate of open space, striking a balance between structures in the area around them. Thinking about that, I made the truck parking lot big enough that it looks like trucks or trailers could maneuver in it. Again, I like the look and I'm glad I followed Lance's advice. That's all. Thanks for watching.